So now we can start to work with some transitions. With the transitions, take your time, have some fun with your practice. If you're worried about folding, because we'll be working with crow, if you're worried about uh, falling forward, just take your quilt or a few thick pillows and put them in front of you. Um, and just practice with care. If you've got your furry friends in your room, just move them out of the way. They can be in the room. Same with your kids. They can play along with you. But make sure you're not going to injure anyone. That's not yoga. So from here, we'll start to build strengthening and work with crow. So the easiest way, crow, is go into malasana. So go into your squat. Drop the shoulders down. Bring the hands down. Place the knees on the upper arm. So it's like a crane. And then you tilt forward. You go onto the tiptoes, and it's just that arm balances are balanced. So you tilt forward, and you can come up that way. And you can start to play here. You can even take one leg away like this, and then bring it back. Now, that seems a bit daunting at first. Don't worry. Let's try it stage by stage. So, you go into your squat, use blocks. I've got quite big feet here. So I'm up on the tiptoes. Normally, if you're holding a squat, you really want to have the arch supported, but we're not staying here long. Hands down, I tilt forward. I place the knees onto the upper arms. Make sure, if you're a little hot and sweaty, wipe the elbows. And then from here, place them onto the upper arms. It's like a crow, uh, like a crane, sorry. Up on the tiptoes. Rather than take the legs up one at a time, I think it's easier to take the legs up together. And then you can play. You can even... Bring the head down like this, and then come up slowly into your headstand. No jumping, corner of the eyes, you can see the fingertips, knees back onto the shelf, and then slowly, carefully, you come up and take your time. With inversions, pincher, handstand, you can take little hops. Head, you don't want to hop up and down, you don't want to injure yourself. And again, working with your handstand practice because we've built strength in the shoulders. Eh, two ways of doing it. If you're new to practice, go against the wall, find a solid wall, and then from here, hands down. Make sure the hands are down, one leg onto the wall, other leg onto the wall, and then you can take a leg off and start to build strength. Just playing with balance, come down safely. Never practice next to glass because you don't want to injure yourself you can always turn around take a little hop you can use a door a solid door but make sure the door is closed and if you share the house you tell them that you're you're practicing so again hands down because your shoulders you're building strength try to keep the foot quite close to the hands and then from here take a little lift the heel up don't move the foot if anything bring it closer to the hands and then you can take a little hop and use the wall if you need to like this slow Careful. All of these things want to have a lightness to it. So have some fun. You have a lifetime of practice. You can always stop the video, have a little play with it. And sometimes you don't get it straight away. So practice with safety and have some fun with it.